Hey, good morning. There's a lot of excitement for the potential expansion of the Kansas City streetcar. Now, this area here in North Kansas City continues to grow. There are some new businesses here. So they tell me having that expansion here means more foot traffic for a lot of these businesses. The future of the Kansas City streetcar could soon be heading north. I think it'd be great. <laughs> for many like Tiffany Weir, who works in the area, it would mean more eyes on their businesses. There are lots of bars around here. We have a couple next door and they just started out. If the expansion happens, the streetcar would either go down Swift Street and through the core of the business district or down Burlington just west of it. An area leaders say could see major impact. I definitely think it can spur some redevelopment where that hasn't necessarily occurred in, in North Kansas City. Bryant DeLong, mayor of North Kansas City, is one of those leaders. After years of study, he says the project is closer than ever. Probably the largest hurdle to all of this is the bridge crossing. And uh, that's going to be the expensive part because, you know, there's not a lot of economic development. There's not people living on the bridge. So it's just kind of, you know, really a dead area. He understands the challenges while also seeing the benefits. It helps more people who see you. They say, oh, I just saw this place when I was driving by or the, with the streetcar they were passing by. Word of mouth is the biggest name for any small business. All right, so what's next? Well, the KC Streetcar is currently looking for a firm to conduct another study. Those proposals are due this Friday. Back to you all. Marlon, when you and I were talking about this story last week, one of the first things we said was like, wait a minute, I know they've done studies to expand it to yeah. North Kansas City before. Why are they doing another one? What's the difference between this new study and the ones in the past? I mean, even going back a decade, right? Right, and we also talked about why didn't they use the 2014 or 2021 studies. Well, the ones that were done in the previous years were a larger uh, look at the what it would look like, what this extension would look like. Now, for this time around, they're looking more of the specifics to kind of finalize those plans, but even yet, it could still be several years um, in the future before we could even see this happening. Yeah, they plan a long time out for yeah. these things. Marlon, thank you.